In this video, I will show you exactly how to solve the problem of we notice some unusual activity, so we disable your ad account, verify your account to run ads again. Now, someone may ask, what causes this problem? There are several reasons why this problem happened. The number one reason why it happens is that there is an unusual login to your account from a location you don't usually log in. So when someone, either you yourself or someone logs into your account, but normally it will happen if a hacker hacks or log into your account, tries to run an advert and spend so much money within a short time. That is the number one reason why your account may be suspended for un unusual activity. So as I, I want to show you something here. Um, there's an account, an account here having a similar problem. Um, yeah, so this account was hacked into um, around 25th of January. And um, when it happened, let me just show you. The hacker tried running several adverts within a short time and spent so much money. And when you check, you're going to show you a perfect example so that you can see. Um, good, so you see here the $2,518 was spent okay and 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 this one was uh, with a very huge budget by the hacker so normally they will hack into the account and try to run several adverts and spend a lot of money in fact with this particular one the hacker was spending the daily budget was hundred thousand dollars so you can imagine on average facebook knows that this account has been spending around 10 to 20 dollars a day okay highest $20 a day and a particular day it is spending $100,000 they would definitely know that um there is some suspicious activity going on so facebook quickly disabled the account so one of the reason is logging in um on the account from a different location you don't usually log in and some unusual activity happening like running an advert with a very huge budget yeah so that's one another one is maybe um you are using a debit card that is different from your primary location. So for example, you are in the US and you are using a debit card from, uh, let's say a country from Africa. They may suspect that it is not you who is actually taking that particular transaction. Okay, so that is it. Then it could also be that um, the other account currency and the currency of the debit card you are using are different. So for example, the other account currency um is the currency of your country let's say your country is using um maybe you are in india indian rupees okay and then the other account uh, and the debit card you are using is let's say uh nigeria is in naira from nigeria they may suspect something wrong is happening so these are the reasons now if your account to hack is hard what do you do so you contact support so when you log in you go to a payment sec section and then you click on contact support. So when you click on that, you'll be asked redirected to fill a form. And just trying to show you exactly how to fill that form. So in filling that form, you'll be asked that we notice some unusual activity, describe your problem. You take time and describe in detail what actually happened. Okay, what actually happened. So I'm just trying to give an example because I've already made an appeal for this. I'm waiting for the response. So you can say something like, dear Facebook, this in this case, it was my client account that has been hacked and he is uh, told we noticed some unusual activity. And so we've disabled your account. He failed the form and didn't get a solution. So you will actually explain that your account was restricted and you noticed some unusual activity and you are failing it for them to investigate and get it solved for you. And you can go ahead and tell them that you've attached a, a bank statement of your account. And so you need to get a bank statement of your account indicating indicating um, the transactions that occurred. If you, the primary debit card that is on your account, definitely there will be some deductions through that particular account. And you will need to go for a bank statement indicating transactions on your account. If there were any deductions on your account on the said date that um, the, 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 the suspicious activity happened. Normally when the hacker runs advert, there may be some deductions through your debit card and you will need to get, um, uh, what do you call it? You need to get a bank statement um, supporting all that. You can also attach your debit card. So you will attach your debit card and your bank statement. So when you get that, when you attach that, then we just um, show you a sample. 
Um, okay. So you can attach the bank statement, and then I'm just trying to give you an a, 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 some uh, an example. But you make sure you get a bank statement and attach it. Then after that, you click on request review. When you click on request review, they will review your account, and then within um forty eight hours to one week, they are supposed to respond. Normally, they are supposed to respond within forty eight hours, but sometimes it may take longer than that. And so when you submit, and then you come to Facebook support inbox. You're supposed to get a response here. Uh, when you come to Facebook, then you click on your um your profile picture at the top right hand corner. Go to help and support. Then you go to support inbox. You're supposed to get a response after you submit. You get a response from support inbox. Sometimes it may be an instant response telling you that um you cannot your account will not be reinstated. But you can still reply and provide further additional documents, and they will attend to you. Now, when you follow all that and you don't get a solution, I have done a video on how to contact Facebook live chat support. And you can check the link above or the link in the description on how to contact live chat support. Or you can follow my WhatsApp and Telegram link in the description of this video to contact us for support, for us to help you. But I must be frank with you, we charge to do to offer such a service. So if you need our service for you to be able to um, contact Facebook, or for us to look at your problem and resolve it. Some of the problems we will not even contact support. We can look at it and resolve it for you. You can contact us and you should be ready to pay and we can help you. Once again, thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell for more powerful videos. Thank you and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.